everybody gets sad feelings. Um, and so, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we call that depression. You wake up and say, oh, I'm depressed today, it's too hot outside, or, you know, I'm depressed today because all my friends are away on vacation. Um, but what really happens, that's just a sad day, and that happens to everybody, and it's a normal feeling. What you really want to be aware of is when that stretches into a period of time that lasts more than a couple weeks. And it's not just a passing sadness, but a feeling of no hope and no way out and no solution to what the feelings are. And the feelings are so deep and just overwhelming. You, you'll see things such as maybe loss of interest in like pleasurable activities like games or anything that you have fun with before you might not have fun with anymore. Often associated are feelings of wanting to hurt oneself to end the pain of the sadness that is just relentless. So if you grew up in a family or a neighborhood where there's, where there's been violence that you've experienced, um, we get what's called post-traumatic stress, where we're unable to get rid of those pictures in our brain. Um, and if you have depression, then those pictures automatically signal to your brain that, again, something's wrong. You can't get rid of those experiences. Life isn't very good, you know. Life is messy and it's gonna stay messy. So you get to that depressed place and you just can't get out of it. It's hard when someone is depressed for that person to be the one to reach out and find someone to listen to them. If they have any energy at all, that's cool. I uh, think that they ought to do that with the most trusted person they have in their world because it's all the energy you have if you're depressed to make that step. And so what happens is for young people who grow up in urban environments where there's a lot of violence, young people who grow up feeling isolated or alienated, um, so, you know, if you end up um, leaving family and going to the foster system or, you know, young people that end up on the street, you know, you feel like you've been abandoned. And so that's a sad feeling. Different things can help you come out of depression. Um, a lot of people recommend diet and exercise. Uh, and if that's not right, then may you might have health risks associated with depression, but also using support systems like family, friends, people you trust, uh, co-workers or a professional that is designated to help people with mental health issues. Doing the poetry, um, painting, um, rapping, you know, music, piano, uh, all of those things. And then movement is really a key thing, um, you know, to have a true way of of moving the energy through you. Yeah, the most important thing um, to help anybody with depression, especially young people, is exactly what we're doing today. Um, the, what we found in, res in research studies is that what helps is to have somebody to be in touch with. So that if you feel sad, don't ignore it. Um, it's important to have somebody to talk to. If you're not comfortable talking about your feelings, it's important to be around other people um, and be around other people in a health environment like the one here at Youth Uprising. And uh, especially if you're thinking about hurting yourself because you just don't see any hope at all. Um, suicide is uh, an action taken to end the pain. But in ending the pain, you know, it ends a future. And we need all of the young people. And uh, you can recover from depression. I think it's really important that that it doesn't have to be a psychiatrist or a doctor or somebody fancy. Um, the most important thing is that you talk about your feelings with somebody who takes them seriously. You know, sometimes we're feeling sad and we've been feeling sad. Maybe we lost a family member or we've experienced some trauma. And what happens is we tell people and they say, oh, it's just normal, just get over it or man up, you know. You've probably heard people say that. Most important thing is to have somebody when you say, I'm feeling sad and I just can't, you know, I can't deal with it. Um, for somebody who respects your feelings and let you, lets you talk about them and then helps you make a plan to not be sad anymore.